Hey up guys, gals, fellow Sega fanatics, it's Burnt Out Culture back with another install of clutter basically. Uh, we've got bits and bats from all over, um, mainly car boots, um, eBay, we've got some bits and pieces from Amazon, uh, we've even got a CEX swap out and even a pick up yesterday from Ikea so a few pieces to go for we'll start with the um, with the booter booter stuff so it's just mainly from two car boots um, both um, a local one to mine the one that starts at lunchtime the Otley car boot not great to be honest um, it's a lunchtime start is this one uh, you can pay five pound early bird, but I am paying that, so you know, chances are most of the decent stuff's gone. But I've got a few, few bits and bats that we'll go through anyway, in no particular order. Um, it's super cheap though, to be fair. It's but it needs to be done. It, <laughs> it needs to be covered. So Scrabble computer Scrabble for the uh, 48k Spectrum. I think majority of these were certainly the games anyway 50 pence or so 50 pence but I know it's not worth much uh, I don't I think it's missing the instructions um, I think they still get an instruction like pamphlet manual so that's missing but 50 pence so I'll grab it um, a PS1 game again a cheapo one budget title everybody's golf is it everybody's golf Two, sorry. Um, case is knackered. Oh, it's got. I didn't think it had instructions. But it's got the instructions, but case is totally knackered. To be honest, um, spindle's gone. A few scratches on it, but 50p. About its money. <laughs> to be honest, but don't even often see PS1 stuff, so I thought I had to grab it. Uh, what else we got? What else we got? I got this yesterday. Um, Tekken Six. Uh, 50p, but it is missing the manual, unfortunately. But nevertheless, that's a good game. I'll probably keep that. To be fair, I know it is a good game. I think I've had it previously, but I'll I'll, I'll keep that one. Uh, what else did we get? We got this with two quid, I believe. I think this was last week's one. I didn't get it yesterday. God, what was it? Sealed PS4 game. Uh, Hidden Agenda. Again, I think it's like more or less a budget title. I don't think it goes for much. To be fair, I think about a fiver. Um, but yeah, I think this were. I think it was two quid. Um, he had a store with loads on, but they were all like budget titles. Uh, so I grabbed that. This, oh, this was probably this was the coolest pickup yesterday. Transformers the movie on DVD, fifty p. Um, had to get that. That were a definite one. Um, so yeah, that'll be going in the. Uh, in my Transformers bit of the collection, that's for sure. So that was sweet. This one were two quid. It were a Wii. Not in quite in decent condition, really. It's, I think it's missing a door there. Um, where they're connecting. I think there's one more door missing. Didn't have the Wii, uh, the Wii remote or controllers or whatever it is goes with it. But it did have the uh, rest of the cables and the... Uh, and the power pack so I thought for two quid I don't know I know they're not worth much I know that uh, I'll probably take this take this along to Donny we go put them up with the rest of the month stall <laughs> so I grabbed it anyway for two quid not too bad um, and then this game this box game that I got last week I think or the week before the original I think late 60s early 70s mouse trap game by Ideal she told me, the lady told me it was complete, uh, and it looks complete. I mean, the box is a little bit little bit worse for wear. Let's put that down there. I've got the, the actual board itself, which is, um, is in good condition. Really good condition, so that's nice. And then, it, like I say, it does look complete. Should check, really, make sure that it's got the... The instruction sort of pamphlet and then you get the uh, all the all the 
of gubbins. Um, I did have, did have this when I was a kid. It wasn't this one though. I think it was MB. It'll have been MB version. What well, 80s one? Loved it. But it was always a bugger to set up. <laughs> I always got my dad to set it up for me because it was a bit tricky to set up. There was some part on it that I could never could never get right. I always fell over and stuff. Throw a towel in then, put the ass. But yeah, so that's just two weeks of recent pickups. Like I say, not not brilliant, but you never know, do you, with car boots? It's good to get down there and just see, um, and you know, slowly over time, um, acquire bits and pieces, and you never know, it might drop lucky eventually. Um, so I will, I'll plug away, keep plugging away. Uh, right then, on to um, do, 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 what should we? Yeah, so on Friday, I'm trying to organise an interview um, with a mate of mine who, Lee, Lee, who owns Lee's Deals or Direct Deals to see whether he'll let me do um, an interview with him after I was interviewing the shop so he can show me some bits and pieces. He's a proper lad in his cave if you've never been. Um, I know a lot of you will already know it. Um, just got everything in there. Just blows me away every time I go which stock that he's got in there so every time when work allows it if it can I just sometimes bob in after work um, and he always he always does a good deal he'll always will and he, I think he said he was going to Doncaster as well so um, meet, meet up at Doncaster and he's a sound lad he's late like, absolute top lad um, but like I say I'm trying to he's not overly keen at the moment but I, I I want to just try and organise a bit of, if you will, just keep plugging away, see if I can get him to do a bit of an interview in his shop and tell me about how, you know, how we came to do, sort of get into it, selling um, and stuff like that and just show, maybe show some of the standout pieces in his shop because, like I say, it's just a fucking mind-blowing shop to be honest. But anyway, we're down there on, I think, what it, so yeah, Friday when I finished and uh, you're spoilt for choice. Uh, to be honest, certainly with Mega Drive stuff, and um, I just uh, thought I'll just pick up a few, a couple of sort of cheap titles while in there. This is a, this is a fantastic deal. Um, I bought um, a PS2 Slim Power Pack that I wanted. Let me have that for a fiver, um, and he did these. I got these four games off him, which I didn't have. Didn't even have this, believe it or not. So Revenge of the Shinobi. They're all complete. I mean, that's in. In lovely condition. Um, so that was that one. Um, I got Gynub, which I didn't have. Great shoot of this. Look uh, at that, it's in its own little bag. Fantastic condition, this. Um, so that was that. Um, good to have. Uh, e SWAT. Again, nice and complete. Lovely, lovely condition copper. A couple of these games, I was surprised I didn't already have actually, but I've been checked, I didn't. Um, and then this one, don't see this right often. I know it's cheap or cyberball, but get it for a tenner. But don't see it as as much as what you think. Um, so yeah, I got that one as well. So that were them four games, and like I say, so the four games and. The the P sorry the PS2 power pack did them for 40, 44 quid or something like that. It was forty it would it will it run around forty five mark, but I thought that was absolutely sound. I mean I know I, could, I think Gaino can go for twenty on its own. So more than happy with that, like I say, top lad, really sound guy. Um this were the uh the case swap that I've got off from CEX so I'd got this a while ago, the Genesis cover, but it had the the you know the, the UK PAL cart and manual. But like I say, even though it says on there Sega Mega Drive compatible, it was still the Genesis one. So I've been looking to get it swapped and this came along on um, on CEX. So I grabbed just grabbed it. To be fair, the manual and the cart were better than mine, so they've got swapped as well. There's another couple that I'm waiting on that I've ordered as well, and that's one of them's this Robocop 3. Um, I've ordered that because my 
mine's missing the manual and then it's got that portion out there which is a bit of a bummer and it's also missing there um, so that it's the it's the cover really what I want and probably won't get the manual because it's just the uh, the box one you know not the mint I don't think the mint were in stock so I'm, I'm not I'm not you know keeping hopes up for the manual but if I can just get one with a better copper um, inlay be happy with that and the third one was mega swift I got off Big Mike a while ago it's really really where is it I can I see there yeah it's really really sun faded you might not see it much on here but it's like it's been sunning itself in window for a while so I've I've ordered that one as well um, it's, yeah, it's missing manual as well but like I say if I can get inlay swaps I'll be I'll be happy with that um, a couple of oh god Amazon so you'll have seen various people that certainly picked this one up so far so it's the the new Mega Drive controller six ball and I haven't opened it yet I will get around to it I promise it's like the you know same old story though isn't it just getting around to it so this came out a couple of weeks ago and then this one came out I think the back end of last week so I've got it for the, uh, the Saturn as well uh, read reviews on both apparently the really glowing glowing reviews on them they say they're absolutely fantastic better than the original pads and everything um, so I really chuffed to get that I think that one was 15 quid I think this might have been 18 or 20 not much more if if at all might have been wrong it might have been 15 same price but like I say definitely you know sort of definite needs to have in your collection then um, also a game that a few people's been picked up uh, been picking up off uh, where did we get it Wait, limited run I believe you are strictly limited at least uh, strictly limited yeah so it's our type dimensions on PS4 uh, still sealed at the moment, you get a nice little uh, postcard with it there. I think this was about 30 odd quid, but I'm a big R type fan, so this this definitely had to go in collection. It is it is numbered as well, mine's number 131. So that's um might even keep that sealed, I don't know yet. I know it's I know it's supposed to be a good game though, so I don't know, I'm telling you what idea, I don't know what to do yet. So well happy to have that, well happy to have that. Um, and then, sort of the last of the pickups so far is some, oh god, some eBay, eBay games, start off with, you know, start off with this, so Corporation, didn't have this one, lovely condition that, really nice, not, not, I think, got all these to be fair now, all these have got good deals on really good deals I think this was only like a fiver it goes, no, I didn't go for much I think it's about a 10, 10, 10 quid game something like that but really nice condition um, the next one I got this absolute um, these two absolute steel got this for 20 quid goes for 30 30 all day long and I'd, I'd said when it came I thought it was that it was that good when it came. I thought it were a, a repro. Um, certainly, you know, the, the cut, it just looked absolutely spanking new. I think I've probably bent that manual there. But yeah, when I first got it, I thought, oh God, is it a repro? But it's not. It's, it's apparently like, because it were um, a light gun game, uh, not many people sort of bothered with it, I think, I guess, in a sense. Um, but it's like I said, a Konami title, um, but it's fucking minty, really is minty that, um, so for 20 quid I'm like wow, get that all day long, again another good brilliant condition one, Jurassic Park Rampage Edition, look at that, I mean, <laughs> it's absolute mint, absolute mint, uh, oh, you know, so I was just thinking then, I'm going to show you the other Jurassic Park because it was like a total contrast, absolute contrast <laughs> condition wise from that to this, but yeah, beautiful condition. I don't know my phone, let me just quickly say, I think, that's it, they were all absolute steals. 
Um, should have wrote them down. I need to write these down, though, and then. Purchases. Thirteen seventy nine. That in that condition as well. Fantastic. Thirteen pounds seventy nine with free postage. Spot on. Right, and the last two big hitters in a sense. Definitely big hitters. Anyway, certainly the last one, but this one definitely. Um, a game that. Um, Scott Brand, Sega Zombie had picked up and I'd been watching it for a while also. I've been a game that I've been wanting for a while. Shining Force 2. Honest copy, not perfect. We've got a bit of black markerage going on, on the on the cart label and also on the on the manual. But apart from that, you know, not bad at all. Um, got it for the same price, I think Scott same price, he, he paid 60 quid for his it. Did you get it from Norwich or something? I got this on eBay, it's 60 quid, which is a good price to be fair on eBay. Oh, it's just got that as well, where they've blacked out the barcode on the back, but it doesn't bother me stuff like that. <coughs> it's, as I say, an honest copy. Um, so, really happy to get that. Um, you know, it is a upper echelon title, is that one, for sure. Um, glad to knock this off the list because this, the story going back a few months. This was the first game that hooked me into the the bundle that I got uh, scammed on. The the bundle of games that never materialised. This was the first game that he, he hooked me in on. Um, so it was like, for my own sort of <laughs> peace of mind, I had to get this, knock it off the list, and then it sort of put that whole horrible saga to bed. So, finally, in the collection. Uh, and the last one... Um, a real big hit of this, really chuffed to get this, managed to get this for 80 quid. Um, yeah, top tier game this, the mighty demolition man. Um, on, on the just like, like top 2% of Mega Drive games, it's up there, right at the top, we want, you know, with the, the few. Um, it is complete in good condition. Um, the girl that I, I presume she was a girl. I mean, she was just trying to. You can sometimes read between the lines where they where they sort of wording stuff and. Um, I think she was like a. Like a gaming girl that had just get sort of given up, collecting. I think sort of she was saying, and she had. <coughs> She had Probo Tector as well, but someone just, like I say, someone just sort of picked me to post on that one. Um, she had them on as a, a buy it now for the pair. Or, you, you know, they were on singly as well, and someone had bought Probo Tector um, on its own. So I thought, shit, quick, grab this. Um, knocked her down, knocked her down. Managed to get it for 80 quid in the end up, which I'm sure you'll agree is an absolute fucking steal for this game. Uh, can easily be pushing 150 now and beyond so well chuffed to have that in the collection um, that's it for the pickups for now I've got loads more coming I've got some PS1 stuff coming now so we're moving on to PS1 um, still not got around to uh, Japanese Sega Saturn yet but I will um, obviously we've got Revival in a couple of weeks I hope everyone's going um, great to see you, catch up with a load of people, have a pint, blah blah blah, um, but I've got some, a couple of tasty pickups from, uh, arranged to collect from there as well, I'm also, be collecting my b and beef and onion, body odour, whatever you want to call it, uh, TV, the Bang & Olsen, so that'll Really looking forward to grabbing that and getting that back in, uh, getting back home and getting it in pride of place up there. Maybe that'll finally spur me on to uh, to start getting the the Saturn stuff. Uh, but yeah, like I say, I've been on the back of watching uh, Eddie's roller car uh, video about it, showing showcasing his PS1 collection. Um, it sort of spurred me on to start looking at getting a few of them as well. <coughs> Um, so things are 
things are progressing. I'm really happy with Mega Drive's moving on. Really am. I mean, you know when you're getting sort of somewhere when when you're looking for bundles and most of the games in the bundles you've already got. So that's the first sign that we're making progress. Like I say, there's no time frame attached to it. I'm hoping prices will probably begin to stagnate. They might have done already, looking at it in my opinion. Um, by that I mean that you know you, you, your real sort of heavy hitters are going to stay around at about at that price. I personally don't think they're going to go up that much more. I'm hoping that it'll just plateau now, hopefully. Um, so it's, it's well achievable, it's just down to space. So we'll just slowly but surely tick them off the list. Um, grab bundles here, there and everywhere. I've got a lot of good mates now. Like I say, Lee, Lee's doing us some fantastic deals in his shop. He's got everything. He has got everything in that shop. Um, some games in there, I just couldn't believe what he had. Uh, just on the shelf, like it's a fucking budget title. It's just, you know what I mean? It's like, fucking, what did he have the other day when I went in? Like, that body count he had. Uh, anxiety, separation anxiety. Just shoved in with games like, <laughs> I don't know, fucking Flashback and, you know, fucking Lion King and stuff. They were just games shoved in. And I'm sure he'll do good, absolutely fantastic prices. Um, so, you know, it, it, it's well achievable now to, to press on. And, uh, like I say, hopefully, eventually, same as Scott. You know, get this full PAL Mega Drive set. Um, but I'm not going to totally neglect other stuff. PS4 grabbing odd stuff here, there, and everywhere. Um, <coughs> and, and other various systems. I might even eventually go back to um, my first love, which were uh, Master System. So that that's, you know, going to get revisited. But yeah, really happy, really happy where it's moving on at the moment. So yeah, like I say guys, um, I hope everyone's going to revival. It'll be absolutely, it should be on, you know, on the face of it be epic sort of meet up, piss up, gaming, whatever, everything should be really, really good. Um, looking forward to it so much. Um, so if you can make it, if you can, uh, say hello, please do. Um, it'd, be, it'd be great. Right, guys, I'll, um, I'm not sure how long we've been running for. Let's have a quick look what we got on here. 23 minutes. Okay. We'll buzz off. Oh, one last thing. That's it. I forgot to show you, didn't I? I got this from uh, IKEA yesterday. Kallax. Where's a fucking ton glass shelf in and door? So I just thought I'd get one, at a, get one first, see how it goes, split them. I'll probably create <coughs> like um, a Nintendo one or a, a Sega one see how it goes and I'll just keep adding to it didn't want to get loads just in case it didn't work out but yeah and then um, I'm gonna I don't know whether to move the bookcase onto this side and the calyx on that side I'm gonna have to do some of those take that shelving down maybe extend the, extend the calyx up um, that coat rack's gone <laughs> it's gone I'm not turning camera around but it's gone so that's what I mean, I could extend, extend that right, the full width of that wall now. And maybe put, uh, like I say, another sort of row of cubes above it. I don't know, but that's, there's a crappy shelf up there that needs to come down. Um, and then we could still potentially put a TV on the wall over here. Definitely need, it feels like I need a fucking interior designer to come in and help me out. I just can't get, I can't get my head, I know the TV should go on the wall, but it, even then I don't know what to do with this space. Maybe put, like someone suggested put a Kallax there. But it's like, because I'm looking at this space the, all, all the time, it's like, you need, it's almost like you need a fresh pair of eyes on it, if you get me, to sort of work out what needs to happen, I don't know. I, I just, it's a it, it sort of brain fuck for me, is this room sometimes, but yeah. Maybe work on one wall at once. Increase that to maximum storage on that back wall now. I think we'll take it from there. Once I'm happy with that, move on to another wall. But yeah, that's for another day. Right, guys, thank you ever so much for watching. M much appreciated. Thank you for anyone that subscribed uh, recently. 
Um, I'm on the push for 200. <laughs> it's a long road, but we we're getting there slowly but surely. Um, but people that are subbed more than happy. You know, thanks so much. It's really, really well appreciated. It really is. Um, and like I say, hope to, hope to meet some of you at Revival and say hello. Okay, guys, take it easy. Um, I'll be back soon. Possible, probably will be back before revivals. One, one sort of last one before we go. It might be a, a boot or one. It might be some more pickups, depending on what comes. Okay, then enjoy the rest of your week, guys. Take it easy. Long live the retro. Roger, which is the green one. Mm -hmm. and what else we can find? Uh, right, nothing on there for you, look. Tools, isn't it? How much of your hands off, please? Thank you. 
like that. Oh, look, Daddy. What's it? Daddy, why don't you get there? Uh, it's a pretend lizard. I don't know. Let's have a look over here right quick. Daddy, that's welcome. Do you sit in our schedule? Well, it's coffee. Better than pants. Let's keep moving then. I always come back to say something. I don't need some, mate. We've got manuals, mate, or...? I don't know, mate. No, no. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Sorry, mate. I don't need a bag. You sure? Yeah. I did have it. I'm trying to think. I don't think it was quite as old as that one. Uh, I didn't know they've got a modern one out. I don't even know oh, they've got a modern one out. What is it? What is it? Since, what is it? since it came out. Um, this Daddy? possibly is the original one. That is the original? Yeah. That is what I had when I was. What is it supposed to be? That's why it's so nasty. Mouse trap game. game. Yeah. Mouse trap. It's a game. Yeah, they will do some prices. Just let me know which ones are you interested in, I'll be able to tell you. Do you have 50p each? No, they've got to be a pound each. Well, 150. Let's see what I've got in share. Time on and off. You haven't noticed, have you? So. But you're not talking. Hey, I've just been talking, me and you, haven't we? You're talking, you can hear us. You can hear us. Huh? 
Tama. Bari. 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 Bari.